even though this won't be a long meditation, I will go ahead and ring the bell and offer these in an experiential way, and then you can expand on them if they resonate. So one thing that I have found to be incredibly helpful given that this is a time in which our experience of interconnection is highlighted is to focus specifically on reassurance, or you might even like the phrase blessing, happening through the breath. So bringing your attention to the breath now. given that this virus is being shared through the breath. It's not even something that we can see, of course, with the naked eye. Give your attention now to blessing happening through the breath or reassurance happening through the breath. Specifically focus not just on reassurance for ourselves, but reassurance and blessing for ourselves and our community. So using these same pathways of interconnection, rather than those pathways simply being filled with worry, virus, contamination, filling the same pathways with, with light and reassurance, with blessing. So visualizing with each breath that you're sending light, reassurance, and blessing out into the world. If you've been feeling worried or if your students have been feeling worried, it can be a really nice time to trace that worry back to love. We worry because we love. The worry is a distortion of that love. That doesn't mean it's not valid. It means that we can trace it back to its source. We can actively offer it. So again, focusing on offering blessing, reassurance, and love through these pathways, pathways of interconnection.
So retraining any conditioned temptation there might be for the attention to move to fear, to the scary aspects of interconnection. And actively feeding the, the vision of wholeness, light, family, the world is family. So infusing these pathways with care and love. I also, so, so I invite you to riff off that however, however you'd like. I also really appreciate the practice when my immune system is feeling compromised of filling the body with light. So specifically, I would encourage you to do that by visualizing light coming in through the crown of the head. Filling the body with light. And allowing light to collect, specifically in the heart. Again, in the name of focusing on that inner connection, the hearts, the heart being the seed of unconditional love. Crown of the head being the seed of faith. So allowing the seed of faith and allowing the heart to be connected through your attention, filling the heart with light, sending light through these channels, through these pathways. Seeing yourself, knowing yourself as a conduit for light. Again, watching any conditioned temptation to move towards worry. And rather than feeding that worry with the attention and going down the, the road of the kind of negative self-talk that just spins into deeper and deeper levels of anxiety. Noticing the worry and then tracing the worry, tracing the worry back to love, to care. And just recognizing the blessing and being able to feel our, our interconnection in such a direct way perhaps even finding it in yourself to say, thank you for that opportunity. But specifically seeing yourself as an empowered agent in this interconnection. So not a victim to a virus, but a, to a potential virus, but, but an agent within this interconnected web, a conduit for light and, and for love. In the same way that when we encourage young people to become the compassionate witness, we're inviting that, that young person to recognize themselves as a loving presence that's more than this conditioned experience, more than this body-mind. So we're doing that every time we invite ourselves to move into a place of blessing as well. We're aligning the attention 
with something larger than our conditioned experience. One more immune system support that I've found helpful is to visualize yourself in a bubble of light. So you can, I, I usually visualize that the bubble is about as wide as my arm will stretch out, but it's in all directions around the body. So you can draw the light in through the crown of the head, allow the heart to be the center point of the light, and you can allow the light to expand in all directions about, about the length of your arm. What I like about a bubble of light is it's not that it's a wall. It's not that nothing can penetrate it, but there is um, a sense of protection that can come with that visualization. So just one more offering if you find that helpful. Mostly I, I just wanted to offer what I found to be useful to um, give a loving reminder for the importance of leaning into our practice during this time and into community, leaning into each other, practicing that social distance that we're being encouraged to practice, but leaning into the interconnection. And God bless us, don't watch too much news. All right, thank you all. I look forward to connecting soon.